what I wanted to talk about today is before I get into doing my recap of the first episode of Making a Band, I want to talk about friendships. Now, friendships are very important to human life. People would be know that nowhere they went for friendships. So, bitch, if you if you out there think you find all by yourself, you're not, because you know deep down inside you're gonna need some uh, somebody along the line. Now, if you are in a predicament where you are doing something behind somebody's back, say you're pretending to be somebody that you're not, that's special to a uh, certain person, and you a certain person, and you have a special relationship with that person, don't do it, because it will end. It would affect you drastically and it will it, put you in a place that you don't want to be in. But if you don't care, I'll fit all I wish I wish you all the best. A lesson will be taught in the in the end. The second thing I want now, I'm gonna get into the making a band. I'm gonna recap the making a band now. From what I've seen so far is that all these bitches up on here, they just off the wall. Danny Kane, I mean not Danny Kane, not um Dawn and Andrea, they off the wall, Diddy off the wall. Day 26 is completely off the wall. Donnie, I don't know what to say about Donnie yet. I gotta read more into it before I go in on him because right now, he's he's in a bad place right now, but he is in the best place to be in right now because he's a solo artist. He ain't gotta worry about nobody else stuff affecting him, but um, but his own. Hold on. make this quick because last time I made a video was 10 minutes and 20 seconds and that bitch YouTube was acting, was taking time out was too long so I'll make this quick. Now Donnie, I understand where he's at right now. He's a solo artist. After seeing, after witnessing what went on with Danny Kane and the booting of Aubrey and D. Wills out of the group and all that shit, I see why he would be upset and scared that that might happen to him too. But right now the way I feel is like Donnie is a hard, a hot artist right now. He can easily be picked up by another label, another label who would treat him right. So. Let's go off of Don. Let's go back to Danny Kane and Don. Now Don, this long hair bitch, foot face, she pissed me off. Cause she, well, why is she the only one out of Danny Kane who actually coming back to Diddy and got something to say? Now it's funny that this bitch, she had her solo thing going on. She had her solo thing going on with Diddy, and it's not a coincidence that she the only one from Danny Kane that came back to that came back to um, to this season to talk about the things that's going on. Why is she the only one to um, who's talking about this stuff? There's Andre, there's Shannon, and there's Arby and D Woods. Now I do not believe that Diddy said a thing and sent an invitation to all the girls to talk about that to come back to the season, and they don't show up. He did not send them no damn invitation. He's, the only people he sent that he was cool with in the group was um, Don and Andrea because he knew that he can control them. He got them in the palm of his hand right now. They ass ain't going nowhere. Shannon, I believe he sent her one, but she just don't want to show up because she is a mess within herself. Now, uh, let me go back to um, the Danny Kane. Now, I, I see why he um, kicked Aubrey out of the group because Diddy is one of the people where he want to control everything. If you're not doing what he say, he's going to tell you to get the fuck out real simple, real easy. Now, D. Woods, I understand why he kicked her out because she was a little bit on her own thing either. On her own thing too. Now, Aubrey, not Aubrey, Don, Andrea, and Shannon, we all know that they scared of Diddy. Because when he asked them how they felt about the group, they was all scared and said, well, I don't know. Um, I don't, I, I don't want to be an actress and all this. I think we need to refocus. No, I don't want to be like all that. They scared of him, but it seemed like Aubrey and D. Woods, D. Woods, we already know. She put her foot down. When he kept trying to talk over her, it was not happening. And we all know Aubrey, she stuck up for herself. When he, when, he, when, he want, when he wanted to raise his voice, she raised her voice as well. And Diddy didn't like that. He wants somebody where he was like, shut up, do what I say, and do as I say it right now. And it's obvious that she went apart that. So he made sure he got rid of them. He kicked them out the group. Now, as far as Don and the other girls, we all know that they scared of Diddy, so therefore they're going to be the ones doing what he say. Now, day 26. These bitches a little fake to me, too, because every time I turn around, but on the last season, they was talking about some, we like family, you know, these my sisters, and like, we love them. But when everything's all said and done, especially Q, he didn't have one bitch that's the fakest one out of all of them. He said that let his little Q come ahead as girlfriend for his head up with a bunch of bullshit. Cause uh, he said he's talking about everything Aubrey fault. 
talking about she the most famous out of all them. She can't help it. Cause really when you look at Daddy Kane, they're a born group. Darn born. All she wanna do is stay with um stay with um Q all day. Andrea, I like Andrea, but I gotta say this. All she wanna do is to stay in the house and be on the computer and do nothing. Saying that she's married, so of course she wanna be on the phone talking about her husband because they are right now they work in a long distance relationship. Now it seemed like Aubrey and D was the only two girls who went, really wanted to go out and have fun. That's not their fault. And as far as the clips, like, it's not their fault. If they don't want to hang out with you, they don't want to hang out with you. Yeah, y'all a group, and y'all got well, an obligation to the group, but y'all don't have obligations to each other. That's what they was messing up on. If they want to go out and have fun, go do it. Just make sure you fulfilling your need to the group. I right, back to um, day 26. Robert, all of the hell he thought he was doing with that fucking... What, what was that going on that the mohawk, not with his big ass head, it was not working. Q... He the main one that's really pissing me off with all the stuff that he got to say. You sit up here doing a concert and you think about Danny Kane. Bitch, you next. You keep fucking around, you gonna be gone too. You gonna be kicked out the group. Especially when you sit up here doing all this fighting and stuff. It ain't happening. Y'all need to be worried about how y'all can correct the decision. Because like Robert said, the band, he told them to get the fuck out. <coughs> um, Danny Kane, he told Aubrey D. Wood to get the fuck out. <coughs> Donnie, um, I'm, I'm afraid, hopefully, he won't tell Donnie to get the fuck out, but y'all next, y'all next on the list, there is a bad boy curse. If y'all, if y'all not under his palm, and if he can't c control y'all, he gonna tell y'all to leave. Real simple, real easy. Now, as far as the other episodes, that's all I have to say. It looks like it's gonna be pretty exciting, so I will be sitting there with my popcorn, with my Kool-Aid, with my pizza, with my Hot Pockets, and I will be watching it. Real simple, real easy. I act like y'all don't know. Now, right now, I do not have a song in particular that I want to sing, because this situation is completely off the wall. So, I'm done. Peace, love, and respect. <laughs>